TIFU by freezing while speaking to a Georgian girl. This happened to me on a family trip five days ago in Pamukkale, Turkey. I, 30 meters, was sitting with my dad at a table at Cleopatra Pool and waiting for the rest of my family to get out of the pool. I wasn't going into the pool since it was hot as hell and the water even hotter. Then the most gorgeous girl I have ever seen anywhere sat down next to me. She caught my eye when I saw her taking photos of artifacts at an archaeology museum minutes earlier. She was probably around 25 yo, wearing a tight black dress, having dark curly hair, the most perfectly done red lips ever. Seriously. I normally consider red lips a kitschy cliché, but this was next level. A true natural beauty with perfect proportions. Black eyes. Perfect skin. Words cannot describe how hot she was. Just wow. Since my brain was going haywire I had to leave the table and go for a walk. After a couple of minutes, my dad came to me and said that she was really nice that she offered him her lunch and spoke to him. But because the name of the country Georgia, where she was supposedly from, has a different name in our language and because my dad is as bright as Borat, he wanted I go speak to her and somewhat translate what is being said. So I sat back down at the table and just turning my head to her felt like a lifetime. I ask her, so you're from Georgia right? She just answers, yes. And I go, nice. Nice see. Her facial expression mirrored my own with a lag. It was a perfect mixture of forced smile and nervousness. With a pinch of sheer terror on top. I hoped she would still engage in the conversation. But no. I try again after a minute. The Russians are occupying your country. Aren't they? She again. Says, yes. While I am muttering, interesting. Interesting. Why did I say that? It is not interesting at all. It is sad and despicable. Awkward silence. She gets up and leaves minutes later saying quiet bye without touching her food a fake. So many questions left unanswered. Who is she? What does she do? Does she work or study? Does she travel often? Even yesterday when I was arranging my new work contract at a meeting with my employer I couldn't stop thinking of her i have never felt so shattered in my life before since i know i will never see her ever again insert call me by your name crying end scene gif tl dr my brain went blank and i lost control of my facial expressions while trying to speak to a perfect georgian girl on vacation now i'm absolutely shattered Nothing sexier than breaking the ice with deep political talk. Damn. That's rough man. Should've just said, hi, and left it at that. But hey. You'll always have the memory of her perfect red lips to hold on to. Hi. How are you? Quote. I saw you at the archaeology museum earlier. Do you like archaeology? What was your favorite exhibit? Quote. Do you like swimming, water activities? Quote, where are you from? What is Georgia like? Quote, I really like talking to you. Can I have your number? Quote, come on up. She sat down next to you and you got up and walked away? You sat next to her for whole minutes without saying anything? It's okay. There will be other chances and I have done it too so you're not alone. It sucks but you just gotta learn from it. Tears of joy you let minutes go by after saying that? This makes me feel a lot better about my Riz level. This was tough just to read. Let alone live through. Dude. Your dad isn't dumb. He was your wingman here. Next time work your way up. First talk to girls from Georgia. The state in the United States. When you are comfortable. Then move up to the next level of Georgia. The country. You mention that your dad is as bright as Borat and still you go, nice. Nice see. When I read that, I could only read it in the voice of Borat. 
I cannot imagine how you thought being Borat would impress the girl tears of joy. Tears of joy. You're 30 and this is how you talk to women. Jesus dude. You really stepped in it buddy. I mean that is one mood killer delivered like a Russian missile to a schoolhouse. Next time you meet a girl from Georgia. Talk about wine? They're very proud that they've been making wines the same way for 4,000 years? Anyway, that's all I know about Georgia. Hope that helps. The old adage, ask a lot of questions because people love talking about themselves, can backfire if you end up with a stilted interview. You should also talk about yourself for a bit. My family are here on a trip. It's our first time in Turkey. Pretty awesome though. You're also here traveling? Quote. As a Georgian, but more importantly as a person who has touched grass. WTF bro. Generally the second sentence you say to a person should not involve wars and or politics. Looking forward to hearing about your next adventure crossed fingers. Once when I was young and single I met a woman who made me so comfortable talking to her that it felt like an old friend. One like that is better than the ones who make you forget your own name. Op has negative riz. Smooth as sandpaper, op. F. Tastes very interesting. Got a good laugh out of this one, thanks op. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.